The morning of November 8th, 1832, dawned at a frigid 24 degrees Fahrenheit. The snow of two days prior glistened under a cold, clear sky, as over 440 Ho-Chunk family representatives gathered at Wisconsin's Fort Winnebago Indian Agency. Indian sub-agent John H. Kinsey carefully recorded their names, villages, and the sizes of their families in preparation for the annual payment for land, which had been sold under pressure to the U.S. government. The census penned that day still survives, offering an unparalleled look at the people who have called this region home for untold generations. Each name on the register represents a real family. 4,146 parents, children, and grandparents who were at that very moment on the cusp of losing all that was familiar and known. For in only a year's time, 75% of these families would be driven from their homes. By the end of the decade, the faces of Wisconsin's cultural landscape had dramatically changed. The historic Indian Agency House and the Ho-Chunk Nation Museum and Cultural Center have partnered to bring the cultural landscape of 1832 to life through an outdoor exhibit based on this census. It provides a final glimpse of the Ho-Chunk and enjoyment of their homeland prior to the start of forced expulsion from their villages. The exhibition, coming in May 2022, is located at the Agency House, on the very site the census was taken 190 years ago and is enhanced through extensive online resources. Meet by name the people who lived throughout Wisconsin and Northern Illinois in 1832, and explore the stories of their descendants who have overcome extreme odds to once again return to their homeland. Mark your calendars for the launch of a landscape of families. Prepare to explore and reflect on the depths of a history which we cannot afford to forget.